Hello and welcome. This video is about reading comprehension and a reading case study for an individual student. First, we're going to take a look at the five essential components of reading instruction. There are five areas when teaching reading to students, and they include phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. First, we're going to start with comprehension. Comprehension is the last level of reading instruction. It includes all of the five components of reading instruction, and it is the final goal of literacy. Meta-analyses show that reading interventions for elementary students have a weaker effect when applied to older students. Foundations of reading such as decoding, fluency, and vocabulary are barriers to higher order text processing abilities. Most studies have utilized multi-component interventions in response to middle and secondary students in readings. Clemens et al. make the best case for this. A reading comprehension intervention that also includes instruction in basic reading skills such as word study or reading fluency and is implemented the same way for a heterogeneous group of struggling readers might have a greater benefits for students with deficits in word reading or reading fluency skills. Much of the research indicates that reading comprehension should be coupled and reinforced by the other essential components of reading instruction. Most research suggests that cognitive learning strategies like repetition, organizing new language, summarizing meaning, guessing meaning from context, and using imagery for memorization are consistently suggested as the best approach for improving reading comprehension. According to Berkeley and Larson, however, students with learning disabilities may see positive effects in reading comprehension in the short term, but will fail to use the strategies they have learned over a longer period of time, stating that they are often not aware that they should actively monitor their comprehension or are unable to do so. The logical conclusion of this research indicates that students should be taught self-regulating instruction that fosters more awareness on the part of the student and is less focused on teacher control. Technology has the ability to expand instructional resources for struggling readers and potentially improve on the self-regulating instruction that is needed to assist students with or without learning disabilities to continue to utilize reading strategies and comprehension into the upper levels of education. Now let's look at a case study of a student in ninth grade English. Garrett is a 14-year-old boy starting high school. His reading level is 926 Lexile, and the average reading level for ninth graders is between 855 to 1165 Lexile level. So Garrett is on the lower end of the Lexile range for ninth grade. However, his reading level is above average when compared to that of his classmates. Garrett scored in the 32nd percentile on his reading test, and his score was equal to or above 68 percent of the students in his grade level. When it comes to comprehension, Garrett scored lower than his classmates in listening, but higher when reading and comprehending independently. Garrett is clearly aware of comprehension strategies and utilizes them while reading. As Garrett's ninth grade English teacher, the main goal for my class is reading comprehension. As stated earlier, comprehension is the final goal of literacy. Comprehension strategies are also ways of teaching students about their own thinking. Since reading and comprehension requires more than pronouncing, reading, and understanding words, comprehension is pulling those other components of reading together in order to come to a clear and deep understanding of a text. Common strategies for teaching comprehension include accessing prior knowledge, generating questions, comprehension monitoring, cooperative learning, and the use of graphic and semantic organizers. Each of these strategies have their benefits and deficits for certain readers and learning styles and can be used with other strategies and concepts. In the ninth grade English language arts class, reading comprehension is the focus of most of the class since the average high school student should be comprehending most of what they read. However, some students come to high school with below level reading skills and will need assistance with the other main components of literacy. Much of the research discussed in this video supports that idea and researchers often favor strategies that incorporate phonics, fluency, and vocabulary into the reading comprehension instruction. 
While Garrett's classmates and grade level content is more focused on reading comprehension, Garrett's weaknesses in reading need to be addressed before advanced reading comprehension. Since Garrett shows a lack of phonemic awareness and phonics, remedial reading classes should incorporate lessons addressing building awareness of phonemes or parts of words and how they are pronounced and pronunciation of words. Thank you so much for watching this video on the research of reading comprehension and case study. If you like this video and you would like to see more, you can check out my channel at Miss B Hanley on YouTube. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful day. Bye.